part of you're saying we need strong men to kind of guide us again. And that creates the next phenomenon, which is the 45th, you know, Mr. Donald J. Trump, where now you have this huge polarizing figure, you know, that a lot of men identify, not because maybe he's not uh, like the best choice for them, like it wouldn't be their, their first, but man, at least this guy is saying stuff that we wish we could say. Mm-hmm. And we try to say nobody wants to listen. Mm-hmm. You know, and when we get to that point, I don't even know what the hell's going on. I, I mean, I've been here this country since 2001. You know, I I don't want to fight my countrymen, but at the same time, I don't want to allow what's going on to just keep going on at, Me neither, at a man. further pace. Me neither. We definitely need uh, new leadership. Man. Well, by the way it looks, it's going to be Trump, not against Biden. I don't think it's going to be Biden. I really don't think so. Hopefully not. Huh? So then that tells me that you're for that side at least, you know, for for and that's okay. And that's what I say. You know, the funny thing is, you know, in 2016, the first time I ever voted, and maybe this is gonna, you know, make me lose some Republicans' friends. It is what it is. I voted Democrat. It's okay. You know, I voted I voted for Hillary. Yes, guys, I voted for Hillary. <laughs> oh, <okay. no. laughs> the first time. The first time. You know why? Right you know why? I'll 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 explain why. It's okay, bro. I was 25. I was still out of college. I, I really think Democrats pull more the younger people because it's just what we're supposed to do. You know, and I also think the Democrat Party has changed so much within the last 8 to 12 years that it's like, what the hell is this? This is mm-hmm. not what we thought it was mm-hmm. where we're supposed to be, you know, like people who just wanted freedom – People who want to be left alone, and now it's like, no, 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 you don't get to be left alone because this is what's right, and we prescribed it. What are we talking about? Exactly. And Republicans were supposed to be like war hungry, and you know the same thing we're talking about. You need to shut up because we know better for you. Are now being like, wait, what the hell is going on? Why are we being oppressed? Why can't we talk? Why can't we do this? So now it's like, what the hell? What's going on? Have you heard them talk? Like, it's like, what are you saying? It, it just feels like people who are out of touch with reality. And that's what I, one of the things that I, I try and teach my son, you know, I've, I've done well in business. My family has done well in business, but who cares? We came from nothing. You know, my son actually, funny enough, today, uh, he said, Dad, I need $10. I was like, what do you need $10 for? Oh, I want to buy some Gatorade and like a, like a little thing for my friends. I'm like, well, what? Oh, uh, why? Like, who? And he's like, he's good. Came, he's he, like, that's not ten dollars. He's like, Kim Porta, that's nothing to you. He's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or oh, you just give me a hundred, ten dollars no mucho. Do have mucho más que dollars? I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Just because I have a lot more than a hundred dollars doesn't mean I don't value a hundred dollars. Absolutely. Okay. You know. For a lot of people, hundred dollars, even ten dollars, means something. It means an hour of their of their day, uh, whole days of work. You know, it's something they're they're battling to get. The value. So just because you can get it doesn't mean that you can depreciate it. It still holds its value. You need to be respectful. So respectful, you ain't gonna get no ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. know, and, and and that's what I'm trying to teach my kids as well. You know, just. It, so this doesn't occur. I feel like the Democrats have gotten so much power that now they're out of touch with the reality, out of touch with their base, out of touch with the real people who actually care, which are, for the most part, rational people. They're just looking out for themselves. Correct. And instead, they have lined themselves with like the, some of the craziest people you can think of. People you can think, you see like, okay, there's something wrong with this person. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know? and, and let's put an age limit too, man. Like... Some of these people are what eighty something or whatever. Not, not only do I think there should be a necessary age limit, I also think at least tests or something, you know. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, that, I think that's a no brainer. I mean, yeah, but they don't do them because they're in power, and yeah. you know, it's part of the hypocrisy that I see in anything big, even corporations. When you get so big. I don't care what you have to say. I can just replace you and just keep moving, you know? And that's where I see these people kind of 
high standing and we don't care to talk to our base anymore. You're going to swallow whoever candidate we give you. Now, at least the Republicans this year, they, they've held primaries, even though everybody knows it's going to be Trump. Where are the primaries for Democrats? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Robert Kennedy didn't even get a chance. I know, man. And, and you know what the funny thing is? Robert Kennedy is probably the best choice for the Democrats. Because not only would you bring in Democrats' base automatically, you also get a large chunk of Republicans that are like, damn, this guy is 60-something. Look how many pushes he can do. Mm-hmm. Damn, this guy makes sense. Mm-hmm. Damn, this guy yep. wants to do it. I'm like, what the hell is going on? He made a lot of sense. Um, you know, but it, but it's so true, man. It's it's Yeah. You know, I, I feel like if they would have put Robert Kennedy, maybe they would have had a chance. Yep. You know, you, but you see that didn't happen for some reason. That didn't happen. And you know? there's no primaries. Mm-hmm. How does that make sense? Exactly. Where is the democracy? Exactly my point, bro. You know, so that's where, you know, that's where it gets tricky now. So I, I really do ask this. This is more of a question for you because seeing as I definitely, you know, by the state of affairs, even though I voted in 2016 for, for Hillary Clinton, in 2020, I voted for Trump. Obviously, we lost. Mm-hmm. You know, it got it got crazy. It got freaking crazy. I, mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, most of that stuff shouldn't have happened. Yeah, I know. Uh, I really think it happened out of passion more than anything. Yeah. Nothing from a, a, a bad part, but it's it's so awful. Yeah. So I, I really think in these elections, Republicans are, we already know what the hell's going to happen. Who's going to be voted in for that? Yeah. What does a Democrat that definitely is more towards the middle, what the heck do you guys do? So true. It's like, there's no, oh my God, I'm going to say, like, there's no good options in general, you know? So it's like, that's why some people don't even, I'm not saying that's the the right choice, but some people don't even vote, you know? Um, you know, I, I used to think that the younger I was, I was like, ah, politics is stupid. Only, yeah. only older people talk about politics. It's like, it's not that interesting. And then as a parent, somebody who now pays taxes and has business, yeah. and I understand there's real yeah. there's real consequences to politics. Super. You know, so not only from an economic standpoint, but social-wise, you know, uh, there, there's just everything that can, that yeah. can shift in mm-hmm. literally four years. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I really say that there's going to be a very interesting election. I think Democrats have a bigger burden than Republicans this time around, you know, and the rumors are it's going to be Michelle Obama mm-hmm. or Gavin Newsom, which I still have a problem with, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Not necessarily maybe Michelle Obama. You know, she's a lawyer, and her husband was also president. Whether or not he was great, that's arguably for some other discussion. Mm-hmm. But Gavin Newsom, being a vice president, I have a tattoo of San Francisco in my back. I went to San Francisco, no joke, in 2015, and me and my wife fell in love with that city so much wow. that we both got matching tattoos. Wow, that's how beautiful it is. And now you go to California. It is riddled with homeless, drug addicts, crime. I mean, we see it all the time. And it's Gavin Newsom. And the funny th- thing is, he doesn't talk about it. He's a very slick talker. You can tell he, he's good at deflecting. You know... And how can you consciously, in a way, vote somebody like that? You're like, man, that guy destroyed that place. And mm-hmm. now he gets to do it with, you know, or at least have a lot of say in how it gets ranked now. It's like, I don't know. How accurate is this? You know <laughs> what I mean? How, how accurate is it? You know, is this like. that? that those, just, are the, those are the rumors. Um, you know? Those are the rumors that's going to happen because, I, I mean, I, I think. Even Democrats will see us at the rate that it's going. If Biden runs again, he's going to lose. Yeah, he's going to lose. He's going to lose. And, you know, you guys will have Trump. You mm-hmm. have to deal with Trump, which basically the way I see Trump is the trolls will be out again. Yeah, yeah. You know, people yeah. will just start being yeah. mean again, yeah. making yeah. fun. In a weird way, man, I I love watching highlights of it's Trump. It's fantastic. Dude, he's the funniest <laughs> guy, bro. I know. I, I've seen, I've, I've popped so many of, of I literally, like when I'm bored, just do this. Even if you hate him or not, you don't like him, whatever. But, Trump debate highlights. <laughs> I do it too, bro. Dude, the the comebacks and the insults, they're, yeah. they're freaking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Bro. And I think where the problem is is like people are like, you know, our president should not be having these kind of conversations with other political leaders. But I also think in a weird way, it works. 
And the guy just kind of humiliates world leaders, and they're like, is he really doing this? <laughs> yep. Is he really? He's the only one that can't, you know? And I think he does it almost as he's learned to do it as his methodology. Okay, I'll insult this person, lower them, show them I'm big, and then behind tables be like, look, man, I just want to, like, chill. You know, it's like slapping him in the front and then in the back because, I mean, it only makes sense. Tougher rating or whatever. You know, yeah. he slaps him in the front. And you guys, they blast people in the front and the back. Like, you know, I had to do that, right? But really, I just want to chill. You know, I, it's not going to repeat again if we have an accord. You agree with me? And I, th- I really think that's what he does. That makes sense. It's like a strategy for that him. That makes you sense. Know? But then again, you have to you have to deal with trolls. You know, yeah, yep. that's what's going to happen. Yep, and that's what sells too. So that's so, how but, it is. 